Hi everyone, we're going to be looking at VAT on expenses. We're going to be under recovering again what a debtor or a receivable is. We're going to understand what to do if uh, VAT on expenses is recoverable, what if it's not recoverable and what double entries are for both cases, for cases two and cases three. Okay, so what's a debtor or receivable? As you might know, it's somebody who owes you money and it's an asset on your books. So it's uh, on the soft P or the balance sheet. Okay, so who can owe you money? Well, normally in the course of normal business, it'll be your clients. So the uh, clients for the work you've done. And also I wanna point out, it also can be HMRC or the tax man. Yeah, so normally you owe money to the HMRC, but in some cases, HMRC can owe you money as well. Now, for often, the rules are very complicated. Tax is a bit of a different language, really, and a completely different set of rules. But you can recover VAT you're paid for uh, in relation to goods and services. So, for example, here I have an invoice and I paid VAT of 63.33, yeah? So assuming that I can recover it, that means that HMRC owes me money. What does that mean? Well, it means we recognize a debtor we can record a debtor. So we say VAT debtor uh, What is the VAT debtor in this case is going to be 63.33 and do we debit or credit? We debit because debit debtor okay where does the credit go to? Well the credit the total credit goes to trade payables So you put the full amount, so in this case, the full total, the gross amount is 380 pounds. So I'm gonna put 380 pounds, I'll just put my pound sign here. I'm gonna put 380 pounds here. And put dot dot for consistency. Where does my other debt, so my debits and credits don't balance. Why is that? Because I haven't put them through my actual expense. So my expense, can you guess what it is? My expense is going to be uh, the net total, so 316.67, okay? Okay, so we can only record a debtor if the money, if the 63.33 is recoverable. So we've done, we've dealt with this already in the previous slide. So if debtor, debit expense 316.67, debit VAT debtor, credit trade payables, the full amount. So trade payables, you're recording the full amount. What if VAT is irrecoverable? What do we do? Well, in this case, we don't care. We, everything is basically, in, the VAT is basically an additional expense. You can't recover it. So all you do is you put debit expense, 480 pounds. and credit uh, trade payables £380, okay? So the summary is basically if VAT is recoverable, we do debit VAT debtor, debit expenses, credit trade payables, so the full amount goes to trade payable payables because you're paying the full amount of the invoice to the supplier. And VAT is irrecoverable. We just do debit expense, the whole amount and credit trade payables. Okay. So I'm just going to put an underline here. I also want to put down that VAT on purchases, we call, um, we call input VAT. Okay. And then that's it guys, that's all you need to know.